I mean, I was not expecting Noel's genetics to pop off this hard, honestly. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to some more let's play the sims 3 into the future We are waking up with a beautiful morning here in oasis landing I mean, just look at this place. Is it not visually stunning and guess what it can only get better or it can get worse because what we can actually do is change the time Continuum we can change the almanac of time and change it into a dystopian or a utopian future. So we currently just have the regular old schmegular future, but um, I will definitely change it to utopian, get a couple of screenshots, and then we can quickly check out dystopian because I'm not too interested in this one. So anyways, guys, welcome back to yet another episode. I did a regal save cleaner before the last episode I talked about it, which completely messed up our Oasis landing uh, save here. And it actually deleted our old descendants and gave us some new descendants named logan and harley at first i thought logan and harley were twins because they do look very very similar here but it turns out logan and harley are actually an item they are actually married and what i thought was really uh quite a new observation was that we had the last same sex couple we had that was our heir was gator and ross and this is the final generation and i just thought these two could have been generated as a straight couple they could have been generated as as a lesbian couple but the fact that they got generated just by a sheer stroke of luck got harley and logan a same-sex couple as our final you know descendants sort of generation because i guess we could say harley and logan are our final generation if that makes any sense so i definitely want noel to go ahead and meet their descendants today because i feel like oh noel has some bed head right now <laughs> They look a little grumpy, <laughs> just a little grumpy. They look so cute. Oh my God. Anyway, I really wanted Noel to go ahead and meet Harley and Logan. And in the last episode, we went ahead and I completed the sort of quest line that you get, you know, when you have to go and say hello to Plumbots. It starts in your home world with the power cells and it continues into Oasis landing, you know, going out into the wastelands eventually and excavating stuff. We did that but i thought because i messed it up by using a regal save cleaner i think it did delete our progress on that so i had to redo all of that in the last episode not all of it but i kind of cheated us like halfway through it so in this episode what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going back out here into the wasteland and excavating for a key because we need a key in order to get into this mysterious door and that is the final that is kind of like the penultimate um, quest line here into the future there really is not much of a quest line it is rather short and linear and I wasn't too fond of the writing and it wasn't very creative and all that so not my favorite quest line for sure I'm gonna have Noel go ahead and use the restroom before they head out for the day so yeah we have quite a lot to do we have a, quite a lot on our agenda today on our plate and I really wanted to get Noel one of these cute little sprite guys I'm not sure can I take this one I don't know does summon me and I take them I don't want to take someone else's like little sprite we can go ahead and buy one. Oh, there's one with a bow up here Alfonso was so cute. We definitely need to go ahead and, and get one of those. So I'm going to have Noel go out and fly here to the wasteland. We're going to see if they can go and inspect the store again. And maybe it'll give us kind of like, you need a key to get into the store. Because we do have three key fragments. We need one last one. We need the third key fragment. And then we can go ahead and break down that door and see what's in there. Because there is actually a really cool Sims 4 Easter egg. Because obviously the Sims 3 in the future was the last expansion pack release for the sims 3 which kind of led them into the sims 4 era i don't remember what the easter egg is i'll be seeing it for like the first time basically when i see it with you guys but i do remember there is a rather big easter egg in this in this sort of vault so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get in and noel has spot a mysterious store okay so we're gonna go ahead and excavate these piles when i was having noel <laughs> excavate these in the last episode uh they got reset so hopefully don't they don't get master controller script error reset again that's the hope here and we just need the key fragment three that's the last one we need so we got number one Noel also wants to enter the crash ship which I think is a rather good idea because that's what we're going to be doing and Noel wants to go back home Noel wants to go and travel to the present so we'll do that at the end of this episode we were there in the beginning of the last episode and then we swapped over to the future so let's go and excavate this pile over here actually I can't because this was the pile that Noel got glitched on a little bit ago I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can reset this object reset it we'll see if that works no that did nothing okay well there's other piles we can excavate so we don't exactly need to use that one we have uh, a robot who's running 
long you're a plum bot. I don't know who this is, but she has a ponytail and it's very cute. I like that. Oh, also I should mention, if you're looking down here in this little moodlet, this is insider tips. After snooping around, Noel knows the winning lottery numbers. They're tempted to use this information for personal gain. If I were to have Noel go back to the present right now and play the lotto, they can go ahead and basically win the lotto and win like a million, I don't know how much it is, million symbol. I, I forget how much the exact amount is, but we do need that money actually to get us a statue here in the future. And if you go in here into your almanac, it tells you how to get all of these legacy statues. So these statues right here in town, when Noel achieves one of these legacy sort of goals here, it will change to Noel's picture. And then I think when you complete all of them, it gives us Emmett's spot, which might be kind of dramatic because me and Emmett are besties right now and I don't want to like steal his spot. But, uh, you know, if we do it better, then why not? I'm not actually sure how that works, but I think that's how you do it. So our first thing to do would be to reach level 10 in lizard, li lizard? <laughs> laser rhythmicon skill and have 10 different sims watch or listen while the laser rhythmicon while in present day. So we have to do this in Aurora Skies. This one, the Pioneer of Plumbotics is gonna... <sighs> but here's the thing. We have to have Bailey do Plumbotics and I feel like we should have Noel do all of these, but I don't know. Anyway, so this one is win the lotto in present day. So this one's rather easy actually, because you can just go ahead and cheat essentially using the lotto record tips thingy. So we'll probably do that just because we give it away anyway, because this wants us to give away 50K simoleons. So I definitely want to go ahead and fill out legacy park with our descendants why can i not find fragment number three is that like one of the more difficult ones to find i'm so confused we need some more uh what's it called piles excavated piles but this is like the only one left and i can't click on it we have something over here we can collect i don't know what that is but i'm gonna go and pick it up we have another pile over here so i'm gonna go ahead and excavate that as well just looking around for anything we can find here let's see let's see this is like very world of adventures it's honestly giving what is this right here clean up what the hell is that i'm confused oh my god someone just like squatted down oh it was a robot hi there is somehow still flowers even in the future in this wasteland where there is literally nothing i also like how there's a giant like wall that's kind of blocking this really wealthy city into the wasteland because it, it i don't know it just kind of gives us an idea of what this town has gone through okay we got another mysterious fragment number one how many number ones are we gonna get oh wait we have enough what is this i thought we needed mysterious fragment number three we don't even have number three maybe they just are like you guys can do it because you tried this hard so we're gonna go ahead and assemble this mysterious fragment we're gonna put all these together after noel collects their flower of course they're, they're black eyed susan that's right here we're gonna pick that up oh this would be a cute little photo of us here in the wastelands okay it did not let me assemble it wait it did i think did it let me assemble it mysterious key okay we have the mysterious we have two mysterious keys all right well i guess we have more than enough keys to put in here i'm gonna have noel come over <gasps> who's this girl get away get away alon z get away i said in the last episode i don't know if her name is i don't know if this is an actual name alon z because alon z is like let's go i mean let's go in french so i'm confused why her name is that but um i don't know if that's an actual name okay why is she like at the door i'm confused if she's trying to like budge her way in when we open it it seems a little sus to me that she would know to get out here especially because like no one in town comes all the way out here i'm i'm sus of alonzi i think she's stalking us because we saw her at the home base as well okay so noel is going to go and put in the key and oh my god the door just opened oh there we go we are in guys we are in now and the door just shut behind them I'm not sure if they can get back out, but we're gonna go downstairs here into the basement of this place. Ooh, it's it's giving world adventures, honestly. All right, let me see where that Sims 4 Easter egg is. I'm looking for the Sims 4 Easter egg. Where is it at? Look at these three chairs. That's so ominous. All right, so there's a bunch of sprites in here. Oh, can we collect these? Okay, so I didn't even need to buy one because we're about to get one in here. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Noel is sending a insulting text to Serena Russo. Thanks for that, Noel. Really, really appreciated that. All right, let's go and collect all of these little guys off of the pedestal and then we can have them all. We can collect them all. This might be the Sims 4 Easter egg right here. I'm not sure. I guess we're about to see. Noel is starving. I know, I know. We're gonna get out of here soon. Don't worry. Okay, so now Noel will have a bunch of these sprites and these are essentially Neopets, I think, because you can see it tells you the mood of them and like, remember how like with Neopets, you have to keep them alive and fed and all that. So I think it's like the same sort of, sort of philosophy for these little guys. 
but let's collect everything. And Noel also has a moodlet. I am the key master. All right, let's collect this last little llama here and see what it says, see what it does. And I think that might unlock another door or maybe we go in here and there's something there might be like something that that llama might be a key i feel like to get us out of here because otherwise like how, how do we get out i don't know oh look at this we're sitting we're, we're gonna sit down i don't know if like that does anything <laughs> we're kind of just sitting here watching soothing scenery nearby projection panels have noel happy and thoroughly entertained well is that it is that all we have to do <laughs> was that all we get why do i remember this being like more well we can summon our little neo pets here let's let's take a little look at what these do shall we all right so here's noel's little neo pet oh my gosh it goes on our shoulder that's so cute oh i love it that is really adorable and this thing is called the llama grx 965 and apparently we need a bunch of other gnomes or parts to assemble it so i don't know how much more we can do that with that i don't know if there's much else why do i remember there distinctly being like more to this i don't know if i'm like at the maybe there's another crash site or something we have to go to i don't know i'm like clicking on the walls trying to see if there's anything else i need to like click on or whatever but there's got to be more to this and i'm probably just missing it so but then again i'm not that invested in this storyline honestly i don't really care about this stuff so i'm gonna have noel get us out of here i think they can get us out of here correct they can go back through this door yes they can okay if you guys know of anything i missed i don't know what i missed i probably missed some stuff in there but we're gonna go and collect these little bugs that are futuristic sort of bugs here go catch all of these things i don't know they're called nanites scalar nanites let's go ahead and put on a jetpack let's get us out of here Lola's is super hungry and they want to eat i'm pretty sure you're supposed to get like wasteland sickness but we didn't get that so i don't know what's going on with that i don't know i probably did something wrong to be honest i'm not surprised all right so we're gonna go back into base camp and go and grab some cinnamon rolls and then tomorrow we're gonna have noel go ahead and meet all of their descendants i'm so excited to meet harley and logan it's gonna be fun and i'm also interested to see their place because because if you look it says that their family fortune is or their family worth is fortunate so i don't know what that means but we'll have to go ahead and take a look at if they're really doing doing well doing wealthy it doesn't look like like just by based off of their house i mean no tino shade but where are you guys what, where are you guys what is this oh the hollow venture right okay but i looked at their house like in a couple episodes ago maybe last episode and this was it it looks fine it's cute the build is cute but it is wooden and i feel like if they were really doing well, they probably could live in one of these, you know, expensive houses like this or whatever. But you know what? I should be satisfied that we have descendants at all. Let's be real. All right, so we are going to have Noel head off to bed here and go to sleep. I guess we're sleeping in this room tonight because Emmett, <laughs> Emmett is deciding to sleep with uh, Sasha Nugget in here. So I will pick up in the morning. And also, Noel wants to learn some bot building, which could be interesting. So editing Maddie here, I did a little bit more research. And apparently, one of the things you can find in that vault that we just did is a dream pod disc which lets us stream of the sims 4 so that is the sims 4 easter egg that i was talking about so noel just woke up from sleeping for the night and they wanted to actually go ahead and learn some bot building so i figured while we're waiting for daytime to come so we don't wake harley and logan up as much as i would like to meet them we're gonna go and head over to the nuts and bolts bot emporium we haven't been here before and i haven't really talked at length about the plumbots which is insane because they are a huge aspect of this pack like they are one of the main focal points of this pack they are the new life state and yeah i feel like i should have talked about them more so most people from what i know from just talking to you guys most of you use them like caregivers to your kids now don't get confused because sim bots came with the sims 3 ambitions but plum bots are different than sim bots in what ways i guess the only main difference would be the trait chips that you can put in them which i showed off i think in the first episode that we went to the future i think that's the main difference i don't think other than that that they do much else which is kind of a cop-out because they basically just put two robots in two separate packs instead of just making one really good robot so now we have plum bots and we have sim bots it's kind of stupid if you're asking me but this is a supply store for where you can buy extra tra trait chips and buy extra things you can also buy like robots like flat out like we have these robots over here these are actually quite inexpensive for what they are probably the better like this one is five thousand this one was 2000 over here so this one probably doesn't have great trait chips though if you are high enough as a bot builder you can install your own custom trait chips i don't really know how much a trait chip system like i don't know how, how it works out this is basically a consignment store if you're asking me i think 
also we can find those little llama statues that i was showing off in the what's it called in that wasteland vault that we went in anyway there's a book in here called 1948 which is <laughs> obviously a parody of 1984 by george orwell but there is some bot building books so i think i'm gonna buy them just on my podcast so that noel can have them in their inventory at all times just so we don't lose them so i'm gonna come over here and buy bot building one we're gonna buy bot building two and bot building three i'm not sure if they're actually cheaper here in this store i don't care either way because i do have quite a bit of money so i don't mind i'm gonna have noel go ahead and read uh, bot building one if you don't know sims read faster on the multi-tab so it is worth them having that multi-tab because they can gain skills quicker and i'm just gonna have noel learn skill level one i don't know the best way to get bot building skill i don't know we could also design nanites and if you recall nanites are those things that i was picking up in the desert i don't know really what these do i think they give you trait chips though that you can like install i don't know how this works we're gonna see in this system and how how, how everything works here shortly noel has level one in bot building and we got a bot builder as a tinker at heart who's capable of building everything from simple mechanical nanites to complex sim like plum bots it'll take time and practice before noel is ready to build advanced plum bots but even a novice can design or create trait chips and nanites to get started noel wants to go ahead and design a trait chip so i'm gonna go over to this this little thing that looks like that egg that lady gaga was delivered in on that one red carpet and i'm gonna have noel go ahead and design some trait chips so we're gonna go and do that i love how noel's still in their pajamas that's amazing also peep the ad for sim city this is like the weirdest ad placement i think i've ever seen it's literally in not even in simlish it's in english and it has like ea and maxis the logos on the on the freaking billboard which is like so out of place for them to put it i mean i know why they did it it's one it's a pl product placement and two it's futuristic but like still it doesn't fit the aesthetic of the sims i don't know okay so noel just discovered the competent cleaner trait chip which is pretty cool so i guess we can create trait chips like that now if we have enough supplies so if we take any nanite wow this is literally the sims 3 supernaturals uh potion brewing sort of system we can go ahead and create that trait chip and we can honestly probably sell them noel is gaining pretty high skills for this who is this Batula larsen oh she's cute look how cute she is she's adorable i want to meet her hello she's like standing right next to me as i as i do this so you know oh noel wants to go ahead and create a plum bot we can definitely do that i don't know how i don't know what skill level oh 250 simoleons that's it that's quite inexpensive actually all right we're gonna go say hi to batul hi so noel's now level two and they can go ahead and build plum bots i'm a little scared for us to build a plum bot because noel's gonna go back home and emerge with a plum bot and river's gonna be like noel what the hell <laughs> where have you been we also have another sim over here that we can meet frederick rama let's say hello to frederick and we have a yeah another sim it's so weird so i talked about this at length before right where when you go to these themed worlds so for example this is a futuristic themed world every sim is going to be styled in futuristic clothing now when i see sims that don't have that futuristic oh my god she's literally giving birth when i see sims that don't have this futuristic clothing on it like throws me for a loop because this is just regular sims 3 like vanilla clothing and it's just strange i can't believe she's giving birth cheryl landgrab for the sake of all the future landgrab generations noel is going to be a good person and go ahead and take cheryl to the hospital i guess all right cheryl's gonna take us in our in her super fast car she's probably like thank you thank you so much noel i really appreciate it for bringing me here with my baby noel's like yeah 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 get in here <laughs> i feel like noel uh, maybe would not be the most sensible person noel is socially awkward so i feel like maybe they wouldn't be that fond of like children and i don't know maybe you know maybe they would but i get the impression that noel would not be too fond of children i don't know though i guess i should eat my words because oh she had a boy congrats i should eat my words though because noel is really good with their baby sister Bailey so maybe I am wrong and maybe I should shut up and eat my words and stop making head cannons that don't make sense I don't know anyway so that was bot building I don't really know if I want Noel to do that we can also experiment with zero g this is the quest line that Emmett gave us I asked him for opportunities in the last episode and this is one of the ones that he gave us so I'm gonna have Noel go ahead and do zero g just because it is due tomorrow in game and I don't want to get too close to like when it's due I like to have stuff done we can join the astronomer career too which i feel like is pretty cool maybe we could have noel go ahead and do that because in the present day noel is unemployed and i want them to be able to i, 
I don't know. I just kind of like want to experiment with things. So we'll go ahead and we'll see what the astronomer career is all about and all that jazz. Let's have Noel go ahead and experiment with zero G first. And then we can go ahead maybe and join the astronomer career. Logan and Harley, I really would like to go and meet them. I'm not sure if they're home right now. I'm like shook. You can ask to stay over at your descendant's house. Wow. I didn't know it was a thing, but that would be pretty cool. Oh, and Emmett gave us yet another quest. So we can attend a bot arena competition, which we can definitely do. And I'm having Noel now go ahead and join the astronomer career. We got a message that says Noel just finished experimenting with zero G. Although their stomach is still somersaulting, they can't get over how amazing it was to be completely weightless. And here is the available job. It is $23 an hour, eight to four, and it is for a space janitor. Space, the final growth industry. Interstellar exploration is an emerging, uncertain, and extremely rewarding field that's guaranteed to keep growing along with the universe itself. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna accept that. And yeah, we have a job now, which is pretty cool. So Noel will start that tomorrow in game. And I'm going to have them just fly on over to the Olivia household. And we're gonna go ahead and meet Noel's descendants, which is pretty exciting if you ask me. I'm getting the most out of this jetpack, if you can't tell. I love these things. They are just so quick and speedy. And I don't feel guilty using them because this is literally a futuristic world. If I use this in Aurora Skies, I think I'd feel a little bit guilty just because Aurora Skies is like such a suburban sort of town, like small town. I don't want to like pull out this technology that's futuristic. It doesn't honestly really fit. So I don't know. I don't think I would do it them. But anyway, we are here trying to meet the Olivias who are our deep, deep descendants. Oh my gosh, look at us hugging Harley. So cute. So I don't know who was our descendant. Like, I don't know which one is genetically related to us. I, I probably could tell if I looked at the face because one of them married the other one and then gave the other one their last name, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I don't know who is who, but um, I could probably, I'm going to assume it's Logan because Logan kind of has those null eyebrows. Okay. So I'm going to go over and give a charming introduction. They're about to woohoo. I know. My God, really? <laughs> really? I just got here. Come on. Let me give you a charming introduction jeez also all the lights are off as usual i don't know why my game does this let me turn those on so we can get a better look see at their house so yeah this is their house honestly it looks uh, oh my god i just got like hold 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 on i was talking about earlier how logan and harley are like a callback to gator and ross in my previous generation for me personally i think so their house looks like it could belong in the supernatural world of Moonlight Falls. Does it not? Like this looks, this house just looks like it could be in Moonlight Falls. Like if I were to say this to my bin right now and place it right down in Moonlight Falls, it looks like it could belong, especially this garage, like this barn in the backyard. It just is giving Moonlight Falls to me. And wow, I'm like the, the, the likelihood of this happening of a same sex couple being our last descendants of this generation, both being men living in a house that looks like it belongs in Moonlight Falls. Like the coincidences are stacking up they're piling up i'm i'm shocked honestly i'm honestly shocked i'm gonna have noel go ahead and have a microwavable meal as uh logan and harley up, up here go and get it on in the bedroom i think also what is this telescope looking at i don't know if it's just like up here as just like storage or whatnot but interesting location it's literally up against a wall okay all right well they woohoo we're gonna go and eat a microwavable meal don't mind us guys don't mind us i'm gonna go and stock this fridge for them just because i'm a good human being okay i'm a good person so now they can actually cook some food i think they should be able to yeah, they have like a full fridge now. I use Enros Debug Enabler to stock fridges, if you guys are wondering. So they can make like literally anything. I don't know why it's saying that now I can't make stuff that's honestly okay the fridge is literally full but okay game whatever whatever all right i'm gonna go up here and we're gonna go and introduce ourselves i think we, we actually know both of them i'm going to see if they want to form a group with us and we can go and maybe do something hang out with them or whatnot get to know our descendants a little bit better we're gonna ask uh logan he wants to join our group and look at that harley says of course i would be a fool not to get to know you better i'm gonna give them a different haircut because i can't tell them apart <laughs> they have the same haircut and i need to be able to tell them apart because they're gonna probably have a pretty impactful effect on this generation because they are literally Noel's descendants so I'm gonna give them different they have the same exact haircut and it's gray I cannot tell them apart for the life of me I don't know what their hair color naturally is like if I were to age them down would it still be gray I bet because they are elders oh it's blonde so this oh wow Harley is good looking hold on I think I might keep Harley as a young adult or an adult sorry I think I'm gonna keep Harley as an adult because 
damn harley i mean i was not expecting noel's genetics to pop off this hard honestly <laughs> i'm gonna give them their own individual look i'm gonna keep it futuristic though so it fits in with the town uh but i will give them both like a distinct makeover just so we can like tell them apart because i want to be able to and i also want to be able to like forge a connection like i want noel to be able to connect with their descendants because i feel like that's a big crux of this pack is those those descendants generate for a reason you know what i'm saying i tend not to mess with like sims's life stage or face at all and i'm not messing with what is this logan <laughs> i can't i don't know their personalities yet harley i'm not messing with harley's face but i will is this too like modern day i think this might be too modern day for us to put those on him so i'm gonna give him something like i don't know these pants these look like futuristic loungewear but i figured since this is like a really low stakes sort of makeover like we're obviously not gonna be playing harley and logan as like our main lp family so i don't mind giving makeovers and changing up facial features on sims that i'm not going to be actually playing myself it's the sims when i change their like faces faces and stuff and i'm playing them for long periods of time then i'm a little bit wary of like changing all how they look and that sort of thing okay so here is harley's little makeover i want to check his traits he is disciplined green thumb hopeless romantic mooch and over emotional that's so cute that is so cute that he's hopeless romantic like how sweet is that i'm gonna go living in the lap of luxury as far as his lifetime wish goes i don't know what it was before i think it was like a custom one but i'm gonna give him that and then we're gonna go in and change logan here and i think they actually might have both been generated from noel's face so i'm gonna change his hair color if he has that blonde hair just like his husband has because i don't want them both to have yeah so they were both generated from noel's face i think um logan is like definitely the better looking one i think i'm pretty sure i'm gonna make them both adults though so i'm gonna change his hair color to brown just because otherwise they are going to literally look related based off my knowledge of how this game generates the descendants or your own sim i'm pretty certain that it just used noel's genetics for both husbands so yeah that's kind of gross and creepy definitely <laughs> i'm gonna give like a longer hair i think for logan it's kind of giving nate jacobs like his look but that's okay i mean the actor that plays nate jacobs is very good looking i'm gonna give him this seneca beard the seneca beard from hungry games that's what that beard is in my mind now or maybe i'll give him something different i don't know i kind of want to give him this one actually I'll give him that and some body hair because i don't like when my male adult sims are like clean shaven smooth as as butter okay so there's logan what difference a little makeover and a change of a life stage can do am i right am i right of course this does generate from my sims's face so of course the descendants are gonna be good looking i mean come on and i'm just gonna go in here and give him this sort of suit i don't know maybe i'll change the color because i feel like this is the default this is definitely the default color and i don't want him to look like got like default clothes on okay i think i popped off with that makeover what do you guys think i might give him some eye contacts here quickly too just because i really like the look of contacts in my sims's eyes i think he has hazel eyes i can't really tell so i'm gonna try and give him something that's like both green and brown like at the same time because that's what hazel is all right so there are his eyes and yeah that is logan and harley's makeovers now i can finally tell them apart and we can kind of connect with them a little bit more because i was thinking that the uh the into the future clothing and hair and the elder life stage was really just not doing it for me it was really not so now we can actually forge a connection these two apparently logan thinks we should be friends which is great and they are just so in love with each other love to see it oh look at them jumping in each other's arms and stuff so cute uh, we're gonna go and compliment harley's home and i'm gonna ask harley if we can stay over at his house because they have a very big house i'm sure they have some room to spare i mean come on they owe us bare minimum of giving us a place to stay considering the makeover i just gave the both of them so come on noel has been invited to stay over at his descendants household for the night cute so we can like sleep here and hang out here and i don't know get cozy i guess i'm gonna have noel go ahead to the rest room and they're just gonna continue to make out i guess i mean that's fine you two enjoy yourselves look at this cat taking up this guitar over here bad cat bad wonton i love that her name is wonton that's so cute i'm gonna give her a smoochie give her a little hug talk to her a little bit what if guys what if this is one of kai's descendants like our 
our cat kai in like the modern or the present day what if this because they do look very similar and they both have that nub tail because kai has a nub tail as well what if wonton plot twist is one of kai's descendants wouldn't that be crazy like if kai had some babies and then wonton was one of those babies or was a baby of a baby of a baby because i mean this is probably like 200 years in the future this game so anyway i'm gonna have noel just break up the group outing here i'm just gonna disband the group and they both had a really good time which is great and they're down to woohoo again okay my and also woohooer is going absolutely crazy right now um what can we have noel go ahead and do well they're gonna stay on their ipad i guess but we can go but oh, we can purchase a future home that's kind of cool maybe when we win the lotto we should head back i did say i was gonna head back in this episode to the home world and we're gonna go play the lotto because i kind of want to show that part of this so we're about to get a lot of money i really dislike doing this but it is one of the sort of things you have to do in order to get a statue so you know what i just gotta do something i don't like and do it so i'm gonna go and we're gonna travel back home i should have said goodbye to our descendants but it's fine they're a little bit preoccupied uh at the time being so <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna have us fly back home and we're gonna travel back to aurora skies so i will see you guys here in a second and we're gonna go play the lotto in aurora skies right now all righty so we are back in the home world right now noel is getting kicked out onto their ass <laughs> out of the portal and with this little moodle here we have insider tips so i'm gonna go ahead and i think oh my god i've never done this before i don't think i'm going to go to the grocery store and buy a winning lotto ticket and we are going to become millionaires this is equivalent in my opinion to playing uh, just typing in mother, mother load though it is a little bit more involved okay okay it is a little bit more involved as you can tell uh, by my attitude not quite into the easy money it just takes away the fun from the game it's like if you're not gonna have your sims work for money then why not just cheat infinitely and move them into the most expensive house you know i mean there's like a point to why the game has like a currency because you kind of have to work for things so your sim has some drive to do what they're doing this was a really cool lot look it has like it's glass and it looks like a subway that's kind of sick anyway we're here we're gonna buy a winning lotto ticket right now look at those groceries and stuff in there Ooh, it's got milk and tomatoes and all that all right so i bought the ticket i don't know what we do now what do i do with this ticket that i just bought do i buy another ticket i bought a i bought a winning lotto ticket do i have to buy another one i as you can tell i guess i'm buying two winning lotto tickets hey <laughs> don't you like go to the city hall and like check your numbers or something isn't there something to do with that i assume that now that we did that we kind of just have to wait it out and see if we get anything here i have small blank processors what the hell is that i actually thought that the winning payout was immediate but it's not immediate so i guess you wait some time and then you probably get announced that you won the ticket i mean i guess with the lotto you don't find out that you win until like the day after or like a week after by the actual ticket so that's interesting okay also martina did have a wish to have a child with river and they're going up to to ash's bed to go and woohoo i'm gonna move them over to this bed they started out the last episode with a woohoo and now they're ending this episode with a woohoo i suppose get back in that bed river i'm just gonna have them woohoo here quickly and there we go all right well guys i am going to end this episode right here we will have to see the outcome of the winning lotto ticket soon i'm excited to see what what happens what we get but yeah i hope you guys did all enjoy i will catch you all in the next one and peace out